Welcome to this new video reviewing three more countries for Eurovision 2024. Let's start with Croatia. Croatia is one of that big huge contenders to win this year because he's second right now in the betting odds are one of the main fan favorites of this year. He has got a lot of success in Croatia. He has been, you know, viral like a huge revolution out there and all the country is putting faith on him because they want him to bring the first victory of Croatia and the first hosting opportunity out there what has happened that i feel so bad that i don't like this song it's such a shame because i would love croatia to win and host eurovision i think this will push up very good the balkan region in eurovision that lately hasn't been obtaining very good results at eurovision and i want them to become strong at eurovision again you know in uh, 10 years ago, they, went, they were one of the big powerhouses at Eurovision, especially Serbia. But th now they are a little bit lost. So I would like a Balkan country to win Eurovision. So I feel happy that Croatia is probably getting that victory. But as I have told you, I don't like the song. I don't understand why this is in the first places of the betting odds and I don't get why people think this is going to win. <laughs> I'm so sorry for saying this. I know people in Croatia will hate me, but I think that Dar Marco hasn't half hasn't half a strong voice and I suppose that juries are not going to support him massively because of that. Talking about the song, I think this is okay, but nothing special. Of course, I know that the message is so powerful and I support that message of brain draining that many young people has to l flee <laughs> uh, those countries such as uh, Croatia and many other countries in Europe in order to get better opportunities. I totally support the message and I think this is good that finally somebody is talking about this. But as I mentioned, the song is not a hook for me. I don't personally like it so much because I find it a little bit basic. It's a little bit uh, weird for me to sing. There's no going back. Whoa, my nana is so fun. Whoa, there's no going back. Whoa, my anxiety attacks. Whoa, it's like very repetitive. And I don't get that, uh, that woes in the middle of the song. It's a little bit childish for me. And you know, a little bit uh, dated. I don't know. This is probably something that is in my mind, but of course people don't get that, but I do feel it like that. Apart from that, the first time I reacted to this song, I thought that he was trying to repeat the formula of Karija, you know, Finland last year, because it's so similar. It looked like a um, male artist, young and fresh, who is singing, giving us a little bit of fun, apart from uh, an average song. You know, so I feel that I felt that he was trying to repeat that formula. And when the song gets to that part of din, 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 all the colors of the stage in green, I said, OK, this is Karija, cha 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 100 percent. And apart from that, when I saw the costume, you know how he and the other people in the stage were wearing with that high uh, big parts over here. It reminds me as well so much to the costume of Karija last year. So yeah, uh, since then I have been cancelling this entry and I have, thought that I have thought that Croatia actually wasn't a good entry for Eurovision this year. I keep on thinking like that, but as I have told you, I would love Croatia to win because I think that would be amazing for the Eurovision Song Contest to give a new country, especially in that part of Europe, the opportunity of hosting Eurovision. Oh my God, Cyprus, you know you have a special place in my heart because 
I love that series of singers and songs that you have been sending to represent your country. I just love Cyprus, but let's talk about this year's Celia Capsis with the song Liar. I do like this song. I really enjoy it. The first time I listened to this and every time it has appeared on my Eurovision playlist, I have been keep on enjoying this song a lot. You know, many people say that this is very basic and actually it's bringing nothing completely new, you know, an average female teenager pop song. Actually, that is true, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I just enjoyed this song very much. I think that she has a very strong background, a very strong career, even though she's only 16, 17 years old. She has been performing in Australia. She has been performing in the United States. She has been on TV. She has been on live concerts. She has been on Nickelodeon. She's such a huge, a huge super, superstar already. And that is because she has a strong talent. Later, we have seen her in the Eurovision pre party at London. That was great. Amazing vocals, exactly the same as the studio version. And apart from that, she has danced amazingly good, doing movements with that two dancers. I think that she, has, she is a huge contender to sail through the grand final. I am sure she's going to get it, even though she is the first one opening the whole Eurovision edition because she is going to perform the first one in the first spot of the first semi-final. So this is a very hard place to be. She's going to be nervous, of course, but I'm sure that she's going to manage that amazing because she has a very strong experience and she is going to get it and she's going to go to the grand final. So I'm happy for Cyprus. Cyprus, such a tiny island split in two, half Turkish, half Greek, with some internal problems because of that. Getting that amazing representation at Eurovision, they know how to do and I'm so happy for them. So let's go to Cyprus. Put myself on a pedestal. I will be loving me more, loving me. Put my Moving on to Czechia or oh, the Czech Republic, Aiko with the song Pedestal. I think the main problem of this entry as an overall is the life of Aiko. I think that she hasn't got a very strong vocals life and this is the only issue why I think that she's not going to sail through the grand final. This is such a pity because the song actually is okay. I remember that national final, one of the first one, I think the first one after Albania of this year, no, it was before Albania actually. It wasn't my favorite song of that national final and I got very angry because she finally won. But later, as many other songs of different countries were being released, you know, coming out, I thought, okay, Czechia is actually not that bad. The song is good, you know, a rock song coming from a female, you know, uh, like uh, empowering herself. That was a message that actually weren't coming from other songs. And I, actually she was standing out in my ranking. But later we have seen these pre-parties, Madrid, Barcelona, London, Amsterdam, where she has been singing and actually her vocals aren't as good as expected. Of course, she had time to improve and she actually has improved. But I think that not enough to tell you Con totally convinced that she is going to sail through the grand final. Actually, she is not in my highest places of my personal ranking. She's actually more in the bottom. And it's actually a shame, but you know, this is a competition and I have to rank them all. Uh, I think that she has a very strong personality with that uh, quite blue hair. I like her so much. I like in the interviews the way she expresses herself, the way she actually is the way she communicates i love her but it's a shame that actually the life uh, proposal that she's bringing to eurovision is not completely accurate it's not a complete a complete package that so far 
is actually uh, working. This is not the case. So actually she has time to improve and let's see what happens in Malmo. But so far, I think that this is not qualifying for the grand final of the Saturday.